hello beautiful family welcome back to our channel thank you for always stopping by in today's video i want to share with us reasons why your enemies are not dying why the spiritual work you've done to them is not affecting them why they, they still look strong why all the things you have done to stop them from attacking you keep happening there are many reasons for that Sometimes you will do a very powerful spiritual work. I used to have you to come up and to start attacking or coming after those people you call your enemies, it will revise back to you. Yes, there are reasons for that. Or you have done a spiritual work to make your enemies to be weak, to stop affecting you or stop attacking you. You will see them getting stronger in their attack. It's not as if the recipe you did is not strong or the person working for you did not do the work. Or this the work the person did for you the person did not do it well i want to share with us some reasons why things keep happening why your enemies keep living long why your enemies are not being affected with all the things you have done sometimes you pray you go to mountain submit their names do this and all that they will still be strong yes what is the reason number one reason is whenever you are fighting anybody with negative forces or anybody with evil heart towards you you yourself you have to make sure that your heart is clean you cannot be saying that this person is evil because he's attacking you and within you you know that you are evil too you are carrying a lot of grudges against another person you are you have so many bitterness in your life and you expect God to return all you have done or to attack the person. No, you are at the same level with the person. Just that this person has grown to a winch. Your own witchcraft is within your heart because you don't have the connection to kill. You don't know where they kill people. You don't know where they harm people, evil. What's, what you must in your heart for that person can actually kill the person if you have the spiritual powers to do that. Most of you will come to me Please, I want you to kill so 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 person. I, I, when I tell you, okay, sometimes I'll ask you, what did the person do to you? You said you don't like the person. Whenever you see the person, you get angry. That is your reason for wanting to kill somebody, somebody you cannot create. Knowing fully well that I cannot do that. That is the worst thing I can do. When I started my spiritual uh, journey, my father warned me seriously, I should never involve myself in anything killing. In as much as the, the offer will be too much, the money will be much worth trade because people are ready to offer you millions of dollars or millions of naira for you to kill spiritually so there will not be a trace. When you check about the money they are going to pay you, if you cannot control yourself, you may involve yourself and that will be the end of your spiritual career because God will remove that gift and replace it with evil gifts. And that is why some strong spiritual people they are not strong in doing bad things. They cannot heal anybody. They cannot deliver anybody because they have removed that healing power God gave to them naturally. When you come to them for healing, they cannot do anything. But when you come for them to kill somebody, they will kill. They are not working for God again. They are not working for the devil. So for God to always answer your prayers, make sure your heart is clean against another person. Number two. Why your, uh, your spiritual work is not working against your enemies is sometimes your en the people you are calling your enemies may not actually be the one. Sometimes you say, so this empire is my enemy, and maybe I don't even know you. I've not even done anything to you. Just because maybe you feel that I'm the uh, reason why you are suffering. I'm using myself as an example. And you keep mentioning my name. God I serve will stand on my behalf. And reverse all the things you have said against me back to you and all the things you have done to social empire will automatically go back to you that is why some of you will come under my comment section I did this back to sender for my enemies to be uh, to have headache to have pains on her body but I'm not feeling it yes that person is not even the person after your life that is why I tell I say in most of my videos don't mention them just use any man any woman so that you don't fight the wrong person. There are people that God has created that no man, no woman will tamper with them and go scot-free. So when you use the wrong words or use 
meet the wrong person, it is going to return to you automatically. Number three, there are people that are spiritually fortified. Even when they are evil, there is no amount of thing you will do to them that will get to them. But if you are spiritually strong and your, heart are, your hands are clean, it will hit the nearest person close to them. Maybe their wife, their husband, their children. And that is why sometimes when they send evil arrows to you, you return it back to send that it will go and hit somebody never expected that it will hit. Because the father or the mother or the uncle that sent that arrow to you has protected himself with a lot of evil charms. And what we will do for God to prove that what you actually did actually work, it will hit another person. That is when you're praying. Tell God that let a slave bullet not hit me. No, I'm not talking of physical slave bullet. Let what my parents or my sisters, my siblings did not be not, not used to repay me. Let me not partake in whatever evil they have done. Judge me with whatever I have done, not what another person did. By so doing, anything they send that it will hit you, it will not. It will go back to the sender or it will neutralize without it affecting anybody because you are praying and covering yourself so that things you don't know don't get to you. At times, on the fourth one, why your spiritual work is not killing your enemies or destroying your enemies is you are doing that out of bitterness, out of wickedness. That person ordinarily has not offended you. Just because you have a little misunderstanding with the person, you now want to kill the person. You now want to harm the person. And you forgot that that person has something protecting him, which is God Almighty, for people that worship God in truth and in spirit. Once you pray and tell God to kill this child, kill this person, God will say, this is my daughter, this is my son, I cannot kill him for you. You are the evil person, let it go back to you, and it will hit you. So whenever you are doing back to sender, whenever you are doing any bad spiritual work, and waiting for somebody to die, you are wasting your time. Just double everything to God. God will know the perfect punishment to hit them. Pray that when you are doing back to sender, say, any man, any woman, after my life, after my destiny, let whatever the person has planned to me go back to the person. That is the simple way to do back to sender. Even in the Bible, let every anybody that wishes me bad see evil. God did not say mention the name of your enemies. No, you don't know your enemies. The only people you know are people you love. People you love may even be the ones that are your enemies, but you don't know. So take these things serious. By the grace of God, you will, you will see your spiritual work will be working. Make sure your hands are clean. Make sure you're not calling people's name wrongly. Make sure you've not done that thing to another person because it will automatically hit back to you. So try these simple steps and see how your spiritual work will start working and your enemies will go down for your sake. Okay? Yes, I've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching and see you in my next one. Bye-bye.